Hi folks, just a quick video on the uh, Harbor Freight 1720 trailer. Um, I highly recommend getting one of these. Uh, I had fun, it was 360 bucks, can't go wrong. But I want to take you through a couple of things that nobody will tell you uh, ahead of time, and uh, I'm going to do that for you now. I apologize about the quality of the video, I'm just a dude in his uh, yard building a trailer, um, and these guys have been trying to get that outboard going for a while, and I don't know what they're doing. Um, Anyway, as you can see, I live on the ocean, so I wanted to uh, prevent a couple of things uh, from corroding quickly, as they do down here on the Cape. And uh, I did the stake bodies. Yes, I know it's a different color. And um, I did the leaf spring assembly, uh, the U-bolts, the plates, um, the fender. Um, I will gonna flex seal these. Um, I'll take I'll take them off, uh, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, I wanted to talk to you real quick about the uh, hub assembly. Um, these may come attached to the tires. Take them off after you take the dust cap off. It's easy to take the dust cap off when they're on the tire. You have some leverage. Um, but anyway, you'll take these off. Um, please do not use the bearings. If you're going to do some distance with your trailers, um, don't use those bearings. Go down to the hardware store, bring them with you, um, the auto parts store, Napa, whatever and uh, get some good bearings because they're crap. Um, and when you assemble it, um, you'll the spindle, you will grease that and you will then put the assembly on, you'll push the bearing in, you'll put the washer on. This castle nut, you do not want to over tighten. With, don't use a wrench or anything, just hand tighten it uh, and then back it off just a hair so that you can uh, get the cotter pin in, okay? Uh, and then you'll bend up the, the cotter pin. Uh, but re I mean tighten it good, but don't don't use a wrench or anything. Okay, I'm gonna put a piece of three quarter inch marine grade uh, plywood on this. Um, the side that's gonna be facing down, I'm gonna flex seal. I'm gonna paint it with flex seal. Um, so then I will bolt it down. Okay, um, but I I know it might be a little silly to some people. Hey, it's a, you know cheap trailer. Why are you going to the bother? But you know what? I want things to last, and if you build it right and you take care of it. Um, I'm obviously not a fan right now of buying anything from China, but I love Harbor Freight and the people that work down the street at the one here uh, are super nice. So, you know, they have jobs and I want to support them. All right, a couple of things real quick that'll make your life a lot easier. Make sure you have an impact driver, all right? Just buy a cheap one if you have to, okay? Um, everything's 17 millimeter on this thing. Couple, couple of things aren't, but you'll mostly use 17 millimeter. Um, so you will need a 17 millimeter uh, wrench. Please, when you're at Harbor Freight, spend the $8, you get a four pack of ratcheting wrenches. Um, you will need this, okay? Trust me. Uh, spend the money, then you have these in your toolkit. Um, I bought a $5 uh, organizing tray. It's very helpful, all right? Very helpful. Um, you'll need rubber gloves. You don't have to have impact sockets, um, but it is helpful. Um, but for the most part, I did not, using this driver, I just used uh, the 17 millimeter um, socket, deep socket, um, and that was fine. You know, obviously you'll need tools, you know, the regular stuff, vice grips, um, you know, flat edge screwdriver, you'll need these to help you uh, getting the dust caps off. Um, I always go through lots of cotter pins. Um, I'm into boats, so, but, I bought a box for $4 of different size cotter pins, but you only need two um, of those. Um, I did buy a couple uh, of hardened bolts over at Tractor Supply because I am not building this trailer to fold it. I'm, I'm not going to fold this thing, okay? But this front fork will fold down and use linch pins, like on a trailer, um, to attach it. And that's great to do while you're building it, uh, but uh, now that I'm almost done, I'm going to go back and uh, replace those with the hardened bolts. All right. Very important uh, rubber mallet. All right. This thing doesn't always line up perfectly. You need to gentle tap a few things, not to mention your dust caps. All right. The grease. Um, if you buy the grease gun at Harbor Freight, right, which I recommend doing because it's dirt cheap and there's always coupons, do not use the grease that comes with this thing. You're going to go around the corner to the auto parts store and when you're getting your bearings, all right, <laughs> you're 
you will not use that grease. You will get the, the three ounce, the, the tube for the um, wheel bearing grease, and you will buy a, you know, nice little jar of wheel bearing grease. This is what you need to use, okay? Do not use lithium grease. Don't, I, I don't know. Just, I'm telling you, it's wheel bearing grease. That's what you need to use, all right? Um, there is a uh, grease fitting right there that you will need to uh, use. Uh, that's what you need the grease gun for. I mean, you know, grease guns are invaluable to have. Sure, you could borrow one, but they're good to have. Uh, make sure you have the um, nut driver attachment, uh, you know, for, for sockets, okay? Um, I bought the three pack for different sizes because I can use the half inch. Uh, this is what I'm using on the Lux. Okay, folks. So uh, the trailer is really easy to build. Um, I'm very happy with it so far. Um, I just wanted to give you those couple of tips. Um, keep yourself organized while you're building it. Have a table to build it on. You build the front frame first, then the rear frame. It's a lot easier to do on the table and then transfer everything as you need to on the ground.